not that the government of Indonesia is buying the rice from the farmer at the true market price, okay, and then selling the rice on the market at a discounted price. No. No, no, no. The government of Indonesia unilaterally imposes a price for rice that is below the market price. <laughs> and so the market is ripping off the rice farmer. He works and he sweats, but he does not get the fruit of his sweat. No, the blood-sucking predatory banking system, they get the fruit of his sweat. What will we do? How can we get around this problem of price controls? Is it halal or is it haram? A man came to the Prophet ﷺ, this hadith is in my book, and he said, O Messenger of Allah, fix the prices because the prices were too high in the market. The Prophet said, no. He came back a second time and he came back a third time. So it must have been really hard. The Prophet said, no. But he said, I can raise my hands and pray to Allah. We can raise our hands and pray to Allah that Allah may bring down the prices by increasing supply, for example. So Islam gives to the world a completely free and fair market with no price controls. The last free and fair market the world ever had was the market of the Ottoman Islamic State. The last free and fair market that the world ever had was a market of the Ottoman Islamic State. But those who are eating halwa know nothing about this. No. They attack the Ottoman state. They say all kind of derogatory things about it. Huh? They dismiss it. And yet it is scholars at the State University of New York. In, uh, in what's the name of that place? Not Stony Brook, in, um, in upstate New York. Uh, upstate New York, State University of New York, somewhere in upstate New York. Those scholars out there, they are the ones who did the research, non-Muslims, and they are the ones who made the declaration that the last free and fair market that the world ever had was the market of the Ottoman Islamic State. And when the Ottoman Islamic State was dismantled and Europe take con took control of the market around the world, the free and the fair market disappeared. And now it's a market of thieves, ripping off all of mankind of their wealth. I have given to you tonight the broad picture of the subject. First study this broad picture and try to assess the implications for us, what will Allah do to us? How great must be His anger? Before you ask me questions about how can I 